So, welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now, as you'll be able to see, the new Community Crunch 223 has been released, which is going to be talking about so much coming up for Ark Survival Evolved and everything that is going on. So quickly before we get into today's video guys, this is not a sponsor, but I wanted to give a massive shout out to my cousin Jack or VC Pines. He's an amazing new upcoming artist and he's just released his new EP and his new single Cracks. It is so good and obviously I'm going to be playing you guys a little bit right now. He got all the way up to number 8 in the global album charts on iTunes, which was so, so good and we were so happy for him. And I just want to do my part and show you his amazing music. And if we can, you know, you know, keep streaming it, keep streaming the new album and everything like that and getting it out there, it would mean so much to me. He's now dropped to, I think, number 21 in the global charts for the albums and stuff. So if you can keep, you know, if, if you want to purchase the album, you can. I think it's about £2.50. I don't know what that is in dollars, but, you know, it's about £2.50. Um, and, you know, he's so talented. I'm going to quickly show you a little bit of his song now. Hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted. If it does, I'll have to talk to him about that. But, yeah, he is amazing. And uh, I, you know, I just I'm so proud of what he's done. Um, and then after that, obviously, we'll get on with the video. But please go check him out. VC Pine, stream it, Spotify, iTunes, purchase it if you want to. The new album, it is brilliant. And enjoy. This is the new single, which, are, as I said, it will only be a little bit cracks. Wildcard are really working hard considering what's going on in the world right now and I know so many of you guys are going to be very happy with the changes and new additions which have come to the game. Now I wanted to say a massive thank you as well for all the support on the videos recently. We are smashing that 1000 like target on every single video and if we can do it again today that would be amazing. Everyone smash that like button if you are excited. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's see if we can do it again. Let's challenge you to see if we can get that 1000 likes but let's get in with Community Crunch 223. So there's a little bit of stuff they wanted to talk about at the beginning so greeting survivors. In this edition of the Community Crunch, we'll cover the details of opening Genesis transfers on our official networks, the dupe protection system, meshing detection, third-party software, which is stuff like um, aimbotting and stopping that, um, hardware upgrades for our servers, player dedicated servers for console, Mac and, and everything like that, and we'll also touch on what we've been working on recently along with an overview of our focuses over the coming weeks. But before we dive into that, we're going to take a brief pause to acknowledge these really tough times for everyone, the team, players, families, and now more than ever, activities like gaming allow us to stay connected and engage with our community, particularly for those who are practicing social distancing and often in isolation. As a small gesture of appreciation for our extended art family, we'll be continuing to run times two rates for the foreseeable future as we continue navigating our way through these extraordinary and challenging times together. Our he heartfelt thoughts are with all of you. Stay safe, survivors. Now, I thought that was really nice from Wildcard, and I know a few of the teams have got, you know, through the, uh, like, well, not only just the team, but a few people in Wildcard are going through some tough times, and, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well, so I send my love to everyone too. To, you know, it is really tough times, but it's great that we can still stay connected via gaming and things like that. So, Genesis and new official server transfers. We'll be opening full server. Um, well, we'll be opening full s a transfer of items and dinos into Genesis on May fifteenth, twenty twenty, with two notes. The first note is that Extinction Titans will be restricted from transferring, and the second is the mag uh, that the mana, sorry, will be marked as unrideable. In case of the latter, this decision was made in relation to the close to flyer status and their ability to dash through certain missions. We've opted to allow Giggers as they serve a counter to tanking dinos and rock drakes as they bring some utility whilst being less mobile than manners. So that's pretty big information there. When you transfer a mana into the, um, into Extinction, you won't um, into Genesis, sorry, you won't be able to ride it and you won't have 
um, Titans. I think it's pretty you know obvious that's not going to be a thing. It'd be way too crazy, and it would mess up the missions, and like manners will be able to glitch into missions and things like that, and it would just cause so many problems. But there are also new server transfers. So these were the latest added um, in with our free weekend. Similar to Genesis 1 servers on May the 15th, they'll also have transfers enabled. So you've got all of these different servers, PvE and PvP. The island, the center, Valgero, um, and yeah, oh, and a Ragnarok one there as you guys can see. But not only is there transfers going on, server upgrades have been going on. We've also recently been working on upgrading the last of our servers to new hardware. A lot has taken place across all platforms and these were the most recent that took place over the last week. Now as you can see, there's obviously Nitrado servers there, they've got Aberration, the Island Extinction, Valgaria, they have got everything, Genesis, all these servers, this is PC and PS4 and Xbox, have now all been updated. Well, they're working on it, I think. I don't know if they've actually, if it's happened already. Oh, wait, no, these, these were the most that have taken place over the last week. So I'm sure there's probably still more to come. But they're all going to be updated to the new server hardware, which means less lag and less problems, which I think is fantastic for the community. So if you're someone that is on a server and, you know, you're still getting lag and you're on one of these ones, as I said, you can pause the video at any point to read if you're on this server then you will all be getting upgraded to better server hardware moving on to the next point mac and i can never pronounce it <laughs> but you guys know what i mean late last week we're able to push out fixes for both mac and the thing i can't say versions <laughs> the linux i'm gonna go for versions of the game which should allow those clients to play on the latest servers with all the latest content we appreciate your patience and working on improving our pipeline to get these out uh, to you quicker and more in a stable state player de dedicated servers we are still in the process of getting on, on, on getting player dedicated genesis servers working on the standard xbox ps4 and ps4 pro the reason it's taken longer than expected is due to the fact that genesis introduced lots of new underlying systems to arc and obviously related to the mission systems this led to an inc increase in how much memory is required to host the genesis server currently our engineers are working on optimizing the, the server so that they're less intensive on memory usage to see if we can get them under the necessary threshold to allow other consoles to host them too. It's on an ongoing process and we'll keep you updated uh, as we get further along. The live game itself. Over the um, past couple of months, we've shifted our primary focus um, for our regular patches between balance slash quality of life and bugs and exploits. The past few weeks have been dedicated to bugs and exploits in this regard, and we've also been working on various crash fixes. We plan to pivot back further. Um, uh, we plan to pivot back to further balance and quality of life improvements soon, including a pass on breeding to improve uh, improve players' experience and further tweaks to mission rewards and crates on Genesis. Anti-cheat and exploit measures. The last time we spoke about our efforts to combat cheaters, we unveiled our work on our anti-meshing systems, which focused on detection and prevention. After rolling out the system entirely, we saw a 90% reduction in overall mesh meshing cases across the board. Since then, we've continued to fight against various ways that the underhanded survivors try to cheat on the arc, and we'd like to give you an update on that fight. So, our anti-meshing detection system is proving effective and we're continuing to see a vast decline in incidents. Like all exploits and cheats, this is an ongoing battle and here is the latest progress. 90%, that's huge! Like, it's not like they've been like, oh no, it's, you know, it's decreased by 40%. 90% that is massive and as you can see the battle against meshes is not over but in, but cases remain low and will continue to decrease over time some of the additional changes we've worked on and included um, are these things here so um, you know improvements to the um, the detection system level design across all maps patching more holes and things that was mesh hits over time all the way up there all the way then it went all the way down and then there was a bit of a spike there so i'm sure a new thing was found out then it went down then it went up and now um, well no i think that was the highest and then that then the mesh system came in and that's been it right there that's crazy i actually got that i actually nearly messed that up but that was when it was at its most then it spiked again and this is where i'm sure they've done little bits of work now look at it look at it that's so awesome to see that there's a little spike there but, you know, that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And we really appreciate and want to thank the art community for reports and support as, um, as the information provided helps us to improve the system. Keep it coming, guys. 
Duping. Similar to meshing, there's been another hot topic that has plagued the game. In one of our most recent updates, we were able to release a system to identify duped items. In some cases, um, obviously, you know, it may not be it may not work completely but most of the time it has and as well as a prevent um, as well as prevent many instances of duping from occurring in the first place it's still early days but so far the results have been outstanding and we're sure some of you have seen the system is still being monitored by our team and we continue to it's it, it, iterate sorry on improvements where possible while having our enforcement team dish out harsher punishment so Meshing and duping is coming to an end. It's doing it and um, just well done, wild card. That's what I'm going to say. Um, exploits and bugs. These are some recent ones that have come out in uh, past updates that I have covered. Um, and if you want to see this last update, um, then I recommend you watch my video from four or five days ago, um, which will have all the information on exploits and bugs. Player reports. Um, we recommend uh, we recognize that there are some uh, like, like some of the auto responses on tickets could be worded in a more precise manner so um they do use some some words that i'm just like okay i should have got a more like an a star in my english um learning but anyway um we'll be working with them um, with our gms to update them i'm sure this is just going on with enforcement and investigations with player reports and just saying they're trying to get them a little bit better but for those wanting to report a player for breaking the code of conduct you can do so Right, big one. Third-party software, aimbot, and things like that. Over the past few months, we've seen a spike uh, across all platforms using third parties, which usually leads to a spike in cheaters. In particular on PC cross, um, and crossplay servers, we've witnessed a, a rise in aimbot reports, and the team is working hard with our partners to combat the use of third-party software. For, for some additional insight into the cycle of, um, of fighting against aimbots, this is usually what happens. We notice an increase in a number of aimbot reports. We work with our anti-cheat partners to identify and detect the new software. And, and, and once that has been done, we'll issue a ban wave and punish cheaters accordingly. Following this, we'll see a slight dip in the frequency of aimbot reports on our official networks until either a new software is released or an older one has been updated. We then repeat the process again of identification, detection and punishment. This cycle can be as long as a few weeks or as short as a few days. It's a constant cat and mouse on, and our team is working constantly with Battleye in order to detect new third-party software and keep our officials as safe from cheating as possible. In addition to that, we also have ramped up our enforcement, enforcement measures, including not only player bans, but full tribe wipes associated, which is fantastic. Um, and in regards to cross-play specifically, we've recently implemented and improved our systems to identify those using third-party software and is proving um, effective over the past week our enforcement team has wiped multiple tribes and banned large number of players on our cross-play servers with more to come very soon we'll continue to enforce hard against these cheaters um, the excellent painting contest will be ending on April 30th and on the horizon along with continuing to squash bugs improve performance and address any exploits that may arise will be working on a on planned quality of life balance uh, and balance for the live game and some of the team are busy working on the upcoming crystal isles map and unique creature will be excited to release crystal isles on our official networks in the not too distant future now one very interesting thing from that guys is i was very very sure that they were going to release tlc phase three before um crystal isles which is the dino update but maybe Crystal Isles might come first with the new dino. That'll be very interesting. But obviously, we'll get more news, as they say, in the not-too-distant future. Arc is on sale as normal. EVO event is going to be enabled um, with, as a gesture towards the community and, and, you know, to deal with isolation and stress during these tough times. And that is about it for this week's community crunch. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. It was a bit of a longer one, but... I really want to say thank you to Wildcard for helping the community here, really focusing, you know, mainly on sorting out these game bugs and, you know, exploits and things. And the game is really coming to much of a healthier state now. And you can see that by the amount, not only obviously we're in isolation, but the amount of players that are playing Ark right now at a constant rate because the game is in such of a healthier spot is absolutely fantastic. And I know there's still problems and I know there's still stuff going on, but it is getting there and it is getting better and better thank you very much for watching guys let's smash that 1000 plus target on today's video for the likes um subscribe if you're new around here and i'll catch you guys in my next video see you guys later